Hello and welcome back. So now that we have a database class, let's test it. Now I've decided to change just one thing here. Let's remove this query function here for a second. I think we'll move these to the models. So here I just want to have a query like that. So function, query, and that's okay. And connect. I think these two are enough for here. But I want to test if this is actually working at all. So I will go to my database and browse. Now we don't have any data here. So I just want to insert some dummy data, which we're going to remove momentarily. So let me just add some uh, random names here and then a user ID, boom, 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 boom. gender, female, school ID, rank student okay then let's see here mm, function uh first name john john gates user id mail school id rank student okay so let's save this data this dummy data and let's hit browse to see okay so we have some dummy data in there very good mm -hmm. so at this point we want to test this by uh, before we finalize things here let's test it if there are any problems so i'm just going to go to um Let's say, for example, profile view or just the profile or just the home page, right? Right here. So at this point, because the class is always loaded, I can just say db is equal to new database, like so. Okay. And then now I can say db query and then run an actual query here. So the query is very simple. It's just select all from users. The all should be a star. Star. Oops. Select all from users. And I expect to get some data. So I'll say data is equal to that. Also, I need to be able to send this data into the view. So I'll add it to an array here. So I'll just create an array on the fly call it data or I can call it rows and then point it to that data over there like so okay so that's just an array with this data part of it so if we now go to our home view where is the home view here home view yes we should have access to uh, rows so let's just say p p like that and I just want to have, I want to echo some pre-tags. You know me and pre-tags when I'm doing, when I'm trying to view an array is essential. So I'll say rows like this. Now, because of that extract we created, if you remember in the controller, this one right here. So this is where it comes in handy when I say extract. What's happening here is that in the home uh, controller here, I'm saving things inside an array. So this is an array of objects. And then inside it, uh, because I want to transfer it to here and I can only transfer one item here, I'll add it to an array. And so this normally without the extract that we added here, what we would need to do when we get to the home view is not this. We'd have to say uh, data, or maybe we'd have to say, uh, in our case, yeah, it would be data and then rows, something like so. Okay, whatever the, the name of the array is. But with the extract, we get rid of all this and just call it as a variable directly like that. Hopefully that is making sense. And let's go to our dashboard. And as you can see, we have our data right here. So the database class is working perfectly. Yes, yes. But uh, let's 
let's improve it a little bit, shall we? Okay. So first of all, uh, these it's not a good idea to have people or to have you edit this every time you change your database. You must uh, reduce as much as possible the chances of trying to edit this because this is some sacred code in here. So instead, let's shift all this uh, stuff to the config, yeah? So right here on the config, we're going to define a few things. So define, so we have a DB name, like so, and then we can put our database name there. So DB name is uh, school DB. Duplicate this a few times, a DB uh, host, and that's local host. And then DB user, DB password, and then what else? Maybe you may want to change the driver as well. So driver is MySQL. Uh, the password is an empty string. The user is root. And that's that. Okay, so we have these. So when you change things, you just come to change here. And then let me copy that. DB driver. So now in the database here, instead of this DB driver, I'm just going to use the constant concatenate and remove that. The host, I will do the same thing, local host. So DB host here, copy. And right here, I will put the host. Okay. And DB name, right at the end here, I will put dot db name. And then of course there's user here, db user. And then there's db password. Okay, so hopefully I got those correct. Yes. Let's try it again and see if nothing is broken. It seems everything is fine. Okay, pretty good. That way we can let this guy go. All right, so now that we have uh, that working, we need to enhance things a, a little bit using models. Yes. So with our model, we can do things like just uh, create different methods that can do different things. For example, if I just want the first name from the table, I can just say get first name, and then I get the first name, or get date, get user, get gender. Then I can get very specific things from there, or find by first name, last name, etc., like that. So we can add a lot of methods in there to enhance how we read from the database. Okay? Alrighty then. So with that said, uh, let me go to models here, and uh, no, actually core. So right inside the core, I will right click and say new file. And then right here, I will say um, PHP tags, save this file. So this one will be the model.php. This will be the main model. So we'll create a class. We'll say main model. And we're just going to call this one model. Copy to M. And then it extends the database class because we want it to be able to read from the database. So there we go. And now we can create a few functions here, for example. So let me leave the constructor alone, but uh, we'll use a few more magic methods here. So for starters, I will create, um, let's just create one uh, function so we can see how this will work. So I'll call it public function. Um, let's just call it find, okay? Mm hmm. 
no, let's call it where, like this. I think that makes more sense. So with where, we're going to have the column name and then comma the value, like so. Okay, so just like here, I'm just going to say db. In fact, I don't need to say db because we're extending the database class, so which means all these functions that are inside the database, it's as good as they're inside here. So we can call them directly. So the same way I can call this query function directly. So here I will just create a query and just say query is equal to, and then I will say select all from. Now, for now, this is the main model and we need to know, um, uh, okay, wait a second. Let's add a uh, value here. We'll call this one uh, protected uh, table. So we need to know the table name. Let's just have a default table name for the user there, like so, okay? Uh -huh. So, yeah, I think that should uh, work. Uh -huh. Okay, so from here, what we will do is use this table here. So I'm just going to put that there and use this. So select all from and that's the table, which is right there. We'll be able to change that depending on the model that we are running. So select all from users in this case. So S there, where, so we'll say where, and then we will put the column name and the value. Now remember that we are using um, prepared statements, okay? So I'm just going to use column like that. Uh, so where column is equal to value, okay? And yeah, something like this. And now what I can do is just say this like so and query to query this. And I'll do a return like so. So return this query and the query will be this one right here. And then because I can add, uh, let me add a an array like so. So I'll do this and put the column, comma, and put the, the value. Okay, so value here and column there. Okay, so what we are doing here is we're trying to be able to, um, what do I say here? Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you in a second. We want to be able to read, uh, let's say, for example, I want to get uh, a user with the first name of a certain kind. So all I'm going to do is use the model and say, uh, where like this and then I'll say first name and then comma what is the first name John like that so instead of creating a query like this I just do this and then I'll get the result that I want okay so let's see how we can have that work so this is our model and this is good so now all we need to do is go into models here and uh, create a new model that will read from, that will extend this one right here. So in models here, if I now right click, new file, and do a PHP like that, class. Let me save this inside models. So this will be our users model. So capital S U uh, user.php like that, save that. So class user. Let me go back here for a second, class, okay. User model, this is the user model right there. 
So class user, this one extends model, which is this main model here. Now remember that whatever we add in core must be added to the auto load. So right here at the very top, let's add model.php as well. Okay, so close that and uh, we are good to go here. So our model for now is okay the way it is. We can remove all the functions here. We don't need any functions for now because it's extending model, which is also extending database. So it has all the requirements it needs to connect to the database, even though it's empty like this, okay? So there is our model right there. Now, in the next video, because uh, time has gone here, in the next video, let's see how we can utilize this user's model to actually read from the database.